Hello, and welcome to another episode of Mac Break Studio. I'm Steve Martin. Normally, I do this show with Mark Spencer, but he's busy creating tutorials in San Francisco, and I just set up my new studio, and I have this awesome tip that just couldn't wait to be shared with you. Um, if you're like me, you have tons of clips, media, photos, all over your drive. Wouldn't it be great if all of the tagging, all the keyword tagging you did in Final Cut Pro translated to the Finder so that you wouldn't have to open Final Cut Pro 10, essentially turning your Mac into a personal asset management system. Let me show you exactly what you're gonna to need to do this. Okay, here I am inside of Final Cut Pro, and I have an event called San Francisco Time Lapse, and you'll notice I took the time to laboriously keyword all of these categories so I can find things and search things inside Final Cut Pro. Now, wouldn't it be great if all of this keywording could be translated to the Finder so that the actual media files that are on the Finder have these exact keyword tags. I'm gonna use an app called FinderCat, which was created by my friend Philip Hodgetts and Gregory Clark. And all you need to do to get these keywords out of Final Cut Pro and into the Finder is take the event, which I'm gonna do right here, grab the event, drag it down to the dock where FinderCat lives, in this case, right there, see the nice little kitty icon, drop the event there, and a window will appear, a little finder cat window. All the items with check marks are your current keywords. Notice they match the keywords that appear in my browser. Now I can go ahead and turn them on and off as I want, or I can turn them uh, all off or all on, but that's not the point. What I really want to do is I want to export all of these keywords so that they appear with the clips in the finder. There's only one step in this app. Click Add keyword tags and you are done. Now let's see what happened to the clips in the Finder. I'm going to right click on any one of them and choose Reveal in Finder. Now notice it takes me to a folder called Stock Footage. Now I want to point out that in order for this to work, your media has to be externally managed, means that your media can't be in the library. It's got to be sitting on a server in a folder uh, for it to be tagged this way. So let's take a look. So notice I have this clip selected, and if I click the Edit Tags button, notice all of the keyword tags that were here in the browser now show up on the clip. And now let's have some fun. I'm gonna hide Final Cut Pro, and I'm gonna use my friend Siri to help me locate clips. Hey Siri, find me movies tagged with the word exterior. Here are all of the files with exterior. All right, so I'll just select the clip, press spacebar, and use my down arrow. These are all clips that are tagged with exterior. All right, great, let's give her another shot. Hey Siri, find me movies tagged with the word people. I found these files with people. Let's see if she found what we need. Yep, there's tons of little people running around like ants. There's some more people, there's people. So she's able to find these finder tags that I exported using FinderCat. Let's look at another way to locate clips. I'm gonna press Command F to bring up Spotlight. I'm gonna use some rules to help me find some clips. Under Kind, I'm gonna choose Movie. Then I'm going to add a rule. And this time, under Name, I'm gonna choose Tags matches, and just for fun, I want the finder to locate all clips with the word night in it. And just like that, all my night clips appear. And I can even save searches. So if I click the save button, call this night time lapse, and I'll click save. I already had one there, and I'll just replace it. So here you can see a smart folder called night time lapse with those clips in it. So what you're seeing is the Mac Finder being turned into a asset management system simply by taking all of the keyword tagging that I did in Final Cut Pro, dragging it onto FinderCat, and then tagging all the files. I can't tell you how much time this is going to save me because really I don't often want to open Final Cut Pro to locate a clip. And now I don't have to, and neither do you. So thank you for watching another episode of MacBreak Studio. We'll see you next time.